I got to get everything back together, get the wheels on, get the bumper on, get the chains on, uh, get the grill on, all that kind of good stuff, and get this thing looking like a truck again. Let's go. You guys make sure you thoroughly shake up your paint. Hey everybody, welcome back to another Classics Are Better. I'm Travis and today we're back on my 66 C10 I call Bandit. I had got the Poppy's Patina uh, sauce to do the wipe on clear coat for this thing. When I was reading the instructions for application just to make sure I didn't screw it up, uh, it says do not put this on spray paint. So I reached out to them and that is correct. You do not put that wipe on uh, sauce on spray paint. It will re-wet it and it will get streaky and look horrible. Well, that's going to be a bit of a problem for me here. The route that I decided to go was like, hey, let's just clear coat this with a semi-gloss or a matte, something like that. I just wanted the wet look, but without it, you know, being really shiny kind of thing. Turns out I know nothing about paint and I wanted to make sure that I was doing the right thing. And turns out I kind of goofed myself from the beginning. The 503 light green I bought is a one stage acrylic enamel. So I was asking my options, you know, if I could still just spray clear over it. Turns out that's not a good idea. There's gonna be spots that look really weird where it's just not gonna to wanna to stick to it good. And it turns out that this needs a good 30 to 60 days to like chemically cure. So we're just on hold with that for now. Uh, probably end up just getting some kind of really good wax. I ended up getting some new bed chains for this thing too. This one's old and nasty. That side's missing. Uh, and they come in a pair so i'm going to paint them with the copper as well and get them bolted up i'll get the wheels prepped ready for paint and we'll give them some love y'all you guys make sure you thoroughly shake up your paint So now that the wheels are finally looking good, or at least a lot better, had to give some love to the center caps. So again, I'm just using some old standard Suburban caps, scuffed them up a little bit, rattle can them black, and honestly guys, I think it turned out looking pretty darn slick. So this, kind of paired with the copper, gonna look good. Took a couple coats, but I think that the grill turned out really well. Check it out, and it's copper goodness. So to get this thing installed, it's just two bolts right here and one over here. And that correlates to two bolts here on the side and then one here on the middle. you need custom color bolts or screws find your old box and look at that custom plan was to try and get some like black billet door handles turns out those are kind of pricey they're all like three hundred dollars plus so i did the cheapo thing and hit it with the rattle can and i think it looks really good now, how long will this last? I'm not totally sure. I got a roll pan for this thing. So I'm just keeping a nice clean one, you know, no lights or louvers or anything crazy like that. So hopefully that'll look pretty good and clean. Time for some bumper love, y'all. So I got the front bumper up here. I got it scuffed down pretty good and ready to go for some paint. Let's go. Good news, guys. The front bumper is looking copperific y'all so i think it looks pretty good for what it is especially for a rattle can job with metallic let's get this thing on the truck okay guys so bandit has me back on the struggle bus so as you guys saw i was not able to get that thing to mount Tried whacking that with a hammer. That did not help. So I got the good old tape measure out, which I probably should have done at the beginning anyway. And from about center, 
to center on here is about 26 and a quarter inches or so. So the reason that could be a problem is that on here, center to center is about 27 inches. And what's weird about that is I'm wondering, well, hey, that's not gonna fit, so that stinks. But why is this off? So is my frame bent here at the front? But if it's bent, why is it a perfect like 27 inches center to center? That just seems like weird happenstance that it would be like dead on like that. I'm gonna do some research and I will get back with you guys. Howdy, howdy, y'all. So it is the next day, and with some fresh eyes on this, I think I know what's going on now. So again, last night, bumper was not fitting. This thing is like an inch off, trying to figure out what's going on. Well, looking at this, pretty lined up, right? Looking on this side, not so lined up. So... My solution ended up being just notching this out. Um, the hole needed to be approximately right here for this thing to work. So this still has quite a bit of bite on it. And this one, this one, and this one, we're all gonna fit as they should, just stock. Let's see if we can get this bumper on this truck. So go ahead and get a good test fitting on this thing. Well, went in so far. Get it about right here so it'll fit up. Just enough of a gap for this to be able to lay down. The only thing is I'm gonna have to notch the support back here to make room for the license plate holder. You can see it, uh, it's a good two, three inches deep right there. So I'll just have to make a little cut here for that to set back into. Success, I got the roll pan on. I think it looks pretty darn good. So let's check out old Bandit now that I got it put back together. So quick little flashback for you guys. So this is what the truck looked like a couple years ago when I initially got it. So bought it from a dude named Bubba, helped me ratchet strap the bed on the truck. Then I just put the truck on my grandpa's old trailer and towed it home a couple hours with my single cab. But yeah, this is what it looked like. I thought maybe there'd be some cool, you know, old patina underneath that primer. Not so much, so dug through all that primer, ended up looking like this, kind of how you guys saw it a few videos ago. Uh, not exactly my favorite with all the Bondo and yellow. I am pretty proud of how the truck turned out, so it is a lot closer to my vision. Still gotta do the interior and stuff, but the outside is looking great, y'all. Take a look at Bandit now. I think we got a win on this one. So the copper has been flowing, but I think everything is done. All right, that's gonna do it, my friends. So if you guys got any value from this or at least enjoyed seeing my C10 finally getting done, please hit the like button for me, leave a comment. I try and reply to everybody, but all that kind of stuff helps with a little channel like mine. Other than that, get out there, get wrenching my friends, and I'll see y'all on the next one.